Hey guys, Crypto Lazy Geek here and welcome back to the channel. This is a quick video about PixInsight, in particular its latest upgrade, which is 1.8.9-2 build 1593. It really rolls off the, the tongue very well. And this uh, upgrade has some hardware requirements that weren't there uh, before. I'm not sure exactly why. And if anyone that watches the video is involved with the PixInsight uh, team, I would love to see a comment below about like what, why that is. Uh, so if you go to the release notes on PixInsight, and I haven't even looked at the features, I'm just like looking towards the very end, we have this critical changes. I mean, uh, overall tip, if you have critical changes, might be a good idea to put them at the top rather than that the bottom, but whatever. And uh, now we see that PixInsight requires support for AVX2 and FMA3 processor instructions on Linux and Windows. And this requirement is not imposed on macOS because the Rosetta emulator does not support these instructions. The Rosetta uh, X64 emulator is what allows uh, Mac computers to basically run programs that have been uh, compiled or, or built with a different processor type in mind than the M1, M2, and M3 chips that are in the current uh, Mac OS computers. So it's interesting that we have a branch for some reason, like PC users have to have AVX2 uh, and FMA3 processors. Uh, Mac don't need that requirement. So does that mean that there are places where Mac is now less good than Windows because it doesn't have access to those processor features? And if that's not the case, then why do we have this additional requirement for PCs? Again, that's something that's a bit of a mystery for, to me. So, so if there's anyone on the PixInsight team uh, who knows the answer to that, please let us know down in the comments. I'm very curious about that. But anyway, those are processor instructions. So they are regarding the CPU, the physical hardware in your computer. Does it support AVX2? Does it support FMA3? And the good news is most recent processors do, but you can check that before you install the latest upgrade of PixInsight. To do that, there's several freewares that can let you do that. I personally chose uh, CPU-Z. This is something that I use uh, uh, often, like just uh, for other purposes. And we can see it's uh, from CPU ID, it's a freeware, and you have the choice between downloading it as an app you can install or downloading it as a zip file, in which case you can just unzip the zip file and you don't need to install anything, you can, you can just run it in place. So to download it, I'll put the links, of course, down in the description. You can click on this uh, Setup English. That's what I'm going to be using. Click on the Download Now button. Uh, it looks almost too big. Don't worry, this is like a piece of software that has been like used by a lot of computer geeks over the years. Um, it uh, blocked the download. I don't care. I'm going to download the unverified file because I am fine with it. And then you would just run the program as usual and install the uh, the software. Uh, you know, I accept this agreement that you've read very carefully. Next, 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 etc. For me, it's already installed, and now I just need to run it. So here it is, CPU Z. Uh, I am going to run it. Approve this, and it's going to gather information about your CPU, and we'll see the information. And here we are, we have uh, CPU Z, we can see that I'm using this processor here. And what we want to look at is this instruction thing here. And I do have AVX2 and I have FMA3 here. Uh, AVX on its own, not two does not count. It's not enough, you need AVX2. So now thanks to CPU Z, we have the information, my processor is compatible. Check on your computer before you upgrade PixInsight. And now we have the information thanks to CPU Z that my CPU supports the new version, so I can uh, upgrade without issue. If your processor doesn't, you are not able to use the new version. You can either upgrade your CPU, uh, which is not ideal, or because for many people that means upgrading your computer, especially if you're using a laptop, uh, or you can download the old version of PixInsight. And fortunately on the website, once you log in to download the PixInsight packages, we still do have this uh, version back from October, which is now our unsupported compatibility version. Uh, again, it's kind of a bit weird to me that it's now our unsupported and that the, the switch was so abrupt uh, and that you require like hardware upgrade for some users, probably a large minority. I would assume that they, they checked their user statistics before doing this change. But still, it's like it would be interesting to have an explanation. So again, picks inside people, let us know down in the comment. Or if anyone uh, watching this video has any information, please let us know down in the comments below. I hope this was useful. Leave a like on the video, subscribe so that this video has more reach and more uh, 
potential upgraders uh, can check it out. But with that, that's all I wanted to show. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget if you can to look up at the stars and I'll see you next time.